What's up, YouTube? This is Collect Pokemon, and welcome back to another video. Um, did you guys see it? Did did, did you guys go on eBay? Did, did did you guys actually go on eBay and search up Van Gogh, Pikachu, canvas painting, or the cliche word that I can't pronounce? Um, yeah. The 35 by 45, the smallest art piece that is printed on the on canvas paper, sold for 900 US dollar. Yeah, the same little frame picture of Van Gogh Pikachu, the gray felt hat one, uh, that was selling on the museum website for 63 US dollar. And you know, if you wanted to ship it to the US, it's I think it's at like 18 or 22 dollars, something along that line. Is now selling or actually now sold for 900 US dollar. It's only been two weeks and it, it's crazy. All the canvas type, not the paper, not the metal, not the, the dye bond or whatever type, the canvas one has gone up significantly. You know, everyone is trying to get their hands on it and, you know, everyone is FOMOing. And, you know, before you guys say, oh, I like Pokemon, you know, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to hype it up, aren't you? Yes, and no, I'm not trying to hype it up, but I do have two copies of it. I did buy a Pikachu as well as an Eevee, and I got an email saying that, you know, it'll be around 90 days before they can actually ship out the products. But, uh, but that's that. But, uh, you know, the price is shot right up there. And I do believe that it's because of scarcity and, you know, people figuring out that, oh my God, this is actually a good collection. It's better than the card. It's better than the promo card. Um, and, and, and is it just... And it just has a wider appeal to people who enjoys art, who enjoys a home decor, um, you know, to be placed in their home. And so that's why the price have shot up. Um, and I think uh, you guys will ask, hey, is it likely to come down? The exhibition will last until January 2024. So I assume that once they get these all printed, it is possible that they will re-release and you know uh, release a little bit more of it um but you know that is just my guess because when they do and people see that it is it can get to this high price everyone will try and rush for it so you know i i, I just i'm just unsure as to how they can tackle this issue you know and i think that you know as more and more are printed, as more as more are sent out, the price should drop back a little bit. But um, we still haven't seen the height of the price yet. I do believe that the price of this canvas painting, the smaller one, will shoot up to who knows, two, three thousand US dollar. It is very possible. Um, so, you FOMO. I mean, if you're not into art, don't even bother buying it right just buy a PSA 10 copies uh, if you're a flipper and you really want to invest in this you know do it with cautious because I I, I I really don't know there's no precedent as to you know how something like this will go whether it will go up and never come down or whether it will go, go up and then drop right down I have absolutely no idea my two copies I actually wanted to put it in my office, so it's unlikely that I will sell it. So, yeah, not really my concern. But it did really get me thinking, why is Pokemon so successful? And why I believe that Pokemon will continue to be successful in the next 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 years. You know, you know, in 2123, you know, people living on Mars is going to watch this video and they're going to be like, oh my God, you know, this guy... Oh, he might be right. So uh, today in this video, I'm going to give you guys a perspective as to why I believe Pokemon Card is so successful and will continue to be successful. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Uh, let me know in the comment section about, you know, whether you guys actually bought, you know, the canvas painting um, or you thought it was stupid because it was a printed canvas painting and not like an actual hand-drawn one, right? So um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know um, if you do agree with some of the points that I'm going to bring out. Now, I'm first going to compare Pokemon with general commodities. Things such as the iPhone, things such as a car, things such as art or 
I don't know, restaurants, you know, any sort of commodities that people will spend money on. If you have a car, if you have, let's use Apple, for example. If you use Apple, you know, there are different lines. You know, if you're really on a budget, you would buy the iPhone SE. If you have certain money, but you don't want the really big one and you don't want a really cheap one, you know, you would buy the iPhone Pro or something like that. And then you have the Pro Max. You know, each of these product lines are targeted at a different social economic status group of people. Similar to cars, you know, you will buy a supercar, you will look at Mercedes, you know, these sort of stuff. If you have the money, you would go for a to to Toyota, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm using you again, or a, a Hyundai or something like that if you are on a budget. You would go to McDonald and Shake Shack if you're on a budget, whereas, you know, if you have money, a lot of money, you know, those you would not really consider as having food there. And basically, that's the thing. Pokemon cart or Pokemon itself, the Pokemon product itself, really doesn't have a lot of these tiers, a lot of these separation of product lines, you know? It's just Pokemon. And, you know, when it is released, Pokemon, everyone have access to it. If you look at Pokemon cards, there's different rarity, but, you know, the rich people, they'll buy a booster box. The poor people will open a booster pack. And the booster pack comes from the booster box. And they have the same likelihood or chance, theoretically, of getting a higher rarity card compared to a lower rarity card. So there isn't a premium line like <clears throat> Magic the Gathering where you buy the collector box edition where you get special cards that can only be pulled from the collector box. Pokemon, just, just buy one box. There's only one box you can buy. And I think, you know, that, that makes it quite interesting. Because everyone has equal access to the products. And the value of each, and in, each individual card or each rarity of cards is simply denoted by the demand, the value that everyone else value the card at. So it it's really a free market if you really think about it. And because of this, it, it creates layers. It creates layers of difficulties and it creates a fair grant for people to get into Pokemon a lot of the time. You know, you know the, 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 the canvas painting I was telling you, you know, it was 60 US dollars, 63 US dollars. You know, you could have easily gotten that, you know, if you didn't miss out, for example. And I think that that's the thing. Pokemon appeal to a lot of people, um, but at the same time, everyone starts off at that same point. And because everyone starts off at that same point, it, it, it makes it more fair in a way. It makes it more less hated by a certain group of people. People are not going to say, oh, I hate Pokemon because Pokemon is just expensive products, you know? We poor people can never reach and buy those expensive products. Those expensive products are only something targeted that only the rich people can get. You know, it just doesn't discriminate rich and poor. And I think that's the beauty of Pokemon, right? And that's one thing. And like, and unlike things such as an iPhone or Apple, Apple is like a te tech product. Cars are just cars. Does everyone drive a car? No. Does everyone need Apple? No, I use Samsung, for example. Um, but Pokemon is in everything. You know, you go into a supermarket, you know, there is Pokemon toothbrush, Pokemon like warm hand warming packs, Pokemon clothes, Pokemon shirts, Pokemon jeans, Pokemon plushie, Pokemon slippers, Pokemon bed sheet. Everything can put Pokemon in. You, you simply can't go into a place without seeing Pokemon. It's, it's actually quite difficult. You, I mean, in the comment section, try to think about one thing that Pokemon hasn't crossed over or licensed to. You know, it's actually very, very difficult. Everything has Pokemon. And so that, you know, there is a 
equal chance that you will have a choice at some point in life to choose between huh, this product with Pokemon, the toilet paper with Pikachu wiping your ass, sorry, with Pikachu on it, or not, right? So, you know, it's, it's just, it, it is just what it is. Pokemon is very, very successful. And it, it just kind of integrates with everyone's life. Everyone in this world have experienced, seen, or had a chance to choose between a regular product or a product of something else and a crossover product with Pokemon or a licensed photo painted on it or something like that. I mean, I've been to hotel room that you know, tried to sell that their Pokemon themed hotel room, um, you know, trains, airplane, you know, there's just so many things that are Pokemon. And this brings me to my final point. You know, back in 2016, when Evolution first came out, many people told me that collect Pokemon is nostalgia. You know, nostalgia is bringing people back. Pokemon Go, Oh, you know, it's, you know, kids that, you know, used to play Pokemon in the 90s. They're finally getting money. You know, I've heard that so many times. And do I agree with it? I do agree with it. And so we, this group of people in 2016, 2016, yeah, grew up with Pokemon in the 90s. Now think about the kids right now. If Pokemon card is everywhere, or Pokemon products are everywhere, technically everyone that is living on the earth right now has grew up with Pokemon. So 20 years, 30 years from now, how do you think the concept of nostalgia will play? You know, it would be very nostalgic for very much everyone. And that's the beauty of it. You know. Kids are going to show their kids of what they're trying to grow up with. And, you know, this creates this positive feedback. And we will just have more and more people join Pokemon. You know, many people tell me, hey, I like Pokemon. You know, uh, COVID is a, you know, a Black Swan event. It's a one-time event. You know, we're not going to get the boom again. I actually heard that before. Pokemon Co. is just a one-time event. You know, we're not going to get the boom again. You know, I've heard that, you know, even further before. Like, oh, Pokemon is dying. Blah, blah, blah. So, Every time when people say that, I laugh because it's repeating. History is repeating itself. And, you know, as long as there are more and more people having access to Pokemon, getting introduced to Pokemon, Pokemon will grow. And, you know, I'm not looking at this because you're going to say, oh, you know, wouldn't it be saturated? No, it wouldn't. Not in my lifetime, at least, because there's only a small group of country, a small group of people who could afford Pokemon card back then in 1990s. You know, what about now? Same thing, but it has a much wider exposure. You know, look at the number of people in China, in India, you know, in these newly industrialized country, right? You know, kids grew up looking at Pokemon. They might not be able to purchase it, but, you know, there are some knockoff and stuff, you know, in the toothbrush, toothpicks, or tooth whatever, right? Um, and, you know, they grew up with it. So when they grow up, they would tend to think that Pokemon is nostalgic. And when that happens, any products, any Pokemon products could potentially go up in price. It doesn't matter what product. It could be a postcard, could be a pen, could be anything. As long as it looks official or it's unique enough, then it will go up faster than all the other products. And, you know, is it going to be hard to tell? Yes, it's going to be hard to spot, you know, but I've been in this, this Pokemon industry long enough to be able to spot. For those of you that haven't realized or doesn't know, um, I also distribute out uh, Kujis, which is a Japanese lottery, as well as those capsule toys. So if you guys are stores around the world, Canada, US, UK, Australia, if you guys are a hobby store, do feel free to contact me because I can send you guys these products uh, at a wholesale price. But, you know, every single time when people order these, you know, the idea is this, a lot of the time when they order, 
they don't know the products. They don't know how it looks. You know, they're the order of three months in advance, um, and they're made to order kind of thing. Uh, so these toys, we don't know how it looks, but but when it is Pokemon, it doesn't matter how it looks. You know, different source just ordered three or four times more uh, products than other anime lines such as Jujutsu, One Piece, Spy Family because they know Pokemon is going to sell and you know I've talked to many stores owner and they do tell me oh don't worry you know collect Pokemon as long as it's a Pokemon it'll sell you know I mean obviously plushy you know those there will be a lot of them which is harder to sell but things such as you know those capsule toys which are limited and you know you have that kind of randomness into it or the Kuji lottery from Japan where you rip a ticket and you get a, a price A, price B, and then you just go and exchange the price. You know, those are very, very popular, especially Pokemon sets. So, um, yeah, that's the reason why I believe Pokemon will do really well, even up to 21, 23, right? So um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, and, you know, if you really are wanting to buy the canvas, you know... <sighs> I would I, I would suggest hold back a little um, hold back um, if it drops it drops you buy it yay if it goes up you know don't 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 worry about it it's not that important um, yeah anyway I'll catch you guys in the next one peace this is collect Pokemon.